in this market. Thank you for joining me in our Splunk Inputs tutorial series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to configure Splunk checkbox inputs. So the Splunk checkbox input is what you see right here. And it's, um, it's great for when you want to specify more than one value. And I'll show you a quick example. If you want to view all employees that have a travel status of frequently and um, yeah, if you just want to see employees that travel frequently that are male and have a job role that begins with RESE, so research scientist, you just hit the submit and you'll get that. So there's the count is 38 and you can see all the status is uh, the travel status is travel frequently. So let's get to configuring this. So we're going to delete it, save, edit, and add input. We're going to select checkbox. And we're going to name this travel status. And we're going to name the token travel. We go down here and this is where you can specify the name of the fields and its uh, value. So uh, the first one will be travel frequently. And we're going to give it a value of travel. Then the next one is travel fairly, fairly, and what you name it. The value of that is travel rarely. And then we have none. to be on travel. And we're going to have a delimiter of four. So the way it works is we want to say if the travel token, so if our field is equal to either travel frequently or travel rarely or non-travel, um, it would be included in the search, so we're going to be using the OR operator. And so it will be space or space. And I'll actually show you that in the Splunk search to see how it looks like. So that all looks good. We'll hit apply. Next, um, let's go here to the search. And this is the field business travel is equal to our travel token, so apply. And here, business travel, it's the name of our field here, is equal to our travel token. Let's hit apply. We'll save. And uh, let's view non travel. Let's view all females that don't travel, and our research scientist. Cool, so it looks like there's 11. Looks good. And to show you what I was referring to, how it looks like in the search, we'll click here. And in the Splunk search, you can see that, that there are, that there's an or statement there. Actually, it'll be there if I show you two because non-travel or travel rarely. So we'll submit that. And I'll show you the difference between one and two. So 
So when it's just one value that's specified, um, you can see here it's it's just non-travel. In this case, it puts the or statement there, which is what we specified in the delimiter. Okay. So in this tutorial, I showed you how to use Splunk checkbox inputs. And thank you for watching. And if this was helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you.